Good day to you people. Is that nice, Doomy? You're a treasure, aren't you? Garden's looking pretty sad right now. Roll on March. But right now we've got house plants to do. I am going inside, honest. I'm just really sad about all my cord lines and my eggiums. <laughs> Stormy's got a new toy, so he's pleased with himself. Oh dear. Good day to you. I've been shopping. First of all, fungus nuts. Jesus. I'm going to get them. Yeah, I'm going to get them. And I've also got something special. Where is it? Hang on. This box. It came in this little flat box through this evil cold that we've had the last few days. And I was scared. It came in this bubble wrap. And then in all these little bits of um, trash. And I was like, what? But here it is. Can you guess what it is? Painted lady. Poor little flat thing. It looks good though. I think he's okay. Fingers crossed. He's got some nice roots. Can't decide whether to put him in water or soil yet. We'll see. But that's my first one. I'm just put him there. Then I've been to B&Q. I couldn't resist them leaves. I know it's only a pothos, but look how bright they are. When that's all dangly, it's going to be amazing. Then, my friend saw this in the corner looking sad for a pan. Where's the pan sticker? It did have a sticker on it saying a pan. Anyway, I don't even know what it is. It, oh, there's a pan. It looked so rotten. Look at all these rotten bits on it. But it's a pan. I couldn't leave it. It looks fine. And there's a new leaf coming. Look at that new leaf. So, yeah. I had to say, I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. And then, <laughs> tree philodendron. Oh, I saw one of these about three years ago and I didn't get it. And I've regretted it ever since. And now I've got him. Are you ready for this? Hang on. I should have uh, should have got the scissors, really. Let's get some scissors and try not to cut the plant. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh no, it's, it's just mould. There's a little bit of mould from rotten leaves. I thought there was a mealybug then. Here we go, here we go. Look at him! 12 pound 50! Dude! Look at him! <laughs> I know! I know! I'm excited! Yeah, Stormy's excited too, he's got his unicorn. But yeah, I thought that was mold. I mean, I thought that was a mealy bug, but it's not, it's just mold. Anyway! So yay. I immediately took these outside and gave them a blast with some Provanto. I don't even know what this alocasia is that I got, but for a pan, I wasn't going to say no. So I'm just going to let them sit for a while. And uh, then I'm going to... Probably repot them because the soil is gross. Stormy's got a new toy. 
I just realised it was in my bag. I think he likes it. So, yeah. What else did I get, do you ask? Well, obviously, I didn't just get plants. I've got some hair dye. Turquoise. I've got some turquoise earbuds. I've got a turquoise cup. I got an iridescent cappuccino mug. And what did I get to go in it? I got two boxes of this. Salted caramel mocha. Not tried that one before. I got three of these to make little terrariums. We'll see. Uh, as well as the sticky paper to fight my fungus gnats, I've got some diatomaceous earth. I'm going to shred their bodies. To make them walk on razor blades. Sods. And I've treated myself to a three awesomely turquoise tubs. They've got lids, but they're in the other room. So, oh, and one more. My latest outfit. Because I'm a bitch. Yeah. Also, Manjula Puthos. Look at that. It's amazing! And I'm still waiting for two more to arrive. Yeah. So, I'm ready now. I'm brave. Let's see what the painted lady looks like inside the cling wrap. off eBay for 15 quid. Oh, it's in moss. I might have to put it back in some moss then, I don't know. I don't know whether to pot it up yet. That might have just been keeping it moist. It's got some pretty good roots. I think it was in soil, so I'm going to see if it will let me Put it in soil again. I don't know if this moss will come off or if most of it's still attached. It feels a bit stuck. A little bit won't hurt. I might just see what drops off. Do I put it in soil? Oh, I don't know. I think so. It's got secondary roots, like it's got the long bit and then it's got bits off the long bit. So that normally means it's ready, doesn't it? I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna get, I've got my bucket of muck. Move this out of the way. And I chose a yellow pot. No, that's for the other one. Oh, there he is. Peach pot. Thought it might match the pinkiness of the stem. So, yes. Hang on a sec, I'm going to tilt you up a bit. I could have probably done with a bigger tripod, I don't know. Maybe I could sit it on something. I'm going to stop some mucking. I've got an airy mix. I'm 
and plop him in there. It looks like he's about the right size for it. He's a bit flat looking because he's been in an envelope. It was a bit freaky to see. And, uh, yeah, pray for him. I think he'll spread out a bit after a little rest overnight. He's just had a bad few days. I can't believe he made it. There he is, my little painted lady. And I'm calling it a he. Okay. So that's him. I'll give him a drink in a minute. Next, I'm going to have a look at my B&Q. Both Pothos. Now, I have got Pothos. But I haven't got one with so much yellow on it. It looks amazing. So, I couldn't resist for £8. £8? Just gonna flick him out of here. See what I'm dealing with. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep, he's all fell apart. It was just a bunch of cuttings. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Be fine, it'll be fine. I'll just um stack them all around again. And I'll stir that muck into my chunky stuff. Don't worry, I'm going to spray with some more Provanto before I'm, when I'm finished. And I'm going to sprinkle some diatomaceous earth. I am sick of fungus gnats flying up my nose recently. They always want to lick my eyeballs. I've had enough of it. But yeah, I thought this yellow pot would look really nice with leaves. Literally, it was just in compost, though. It's crazy. Now I've just got to just spread them out a bit. Maybe should have um, popped them in one at a time, but I'm not very patient. And I've made a lovely mess. Hang on, this one ain't even got any roots on it. How? It never even had roots, that one. Bloody hell. Someone stuffed that in there and tricked me. You don't even got anything that snapped off. Oh well, that's what you expect from being cute. Still got five stems in here. It's fine, it's fine. But there you go. That'll do for now. Just 
push them all in and it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'll show you There we go. Else to look at, but yeah, that looks cute, doesn't it? It's just got to fill out now. I'm glad I found that leaf that wasn't rooted as well. I've stuck it in some water and uh, maybe it'll grow a root. Otherwise, he might have died. So that's two. Yay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them big ones down here. I'm going I'm to have a look at some pots. So next I'm going to do the alocasia with the freakiness I found I think a thrip on it earlier but it was only one and I squished it and I sprayed it and hopefully we'll be okay so let's see what it looks like in here He's a beast. See, one pan. Can't believe that was one pan. I'm just going to flick some of the soil off the top. Oh my god! There's a little baby one in there. A little corn. So I'll take that and put it in some moss, and that'll grow a whole new plant. And I've just dropped soil all over the floor. I'm not going to get crazy. I'm just going to fluff the top bit off. But that's cool. I found a little baby one. Oh, I found another one. So cute. That one's a lot bigger. I almost want to keep looking now in case there's any more. I don't want to mess with it too much though because it's I had a bad life so far. I'll be alright here though. in here that'll do it I can't believe I've had two babies Him pretty much done. Give him a little drink, stick him in the window. So next we've got the beast. I think it's called a cellum, you know, pedifolium or something or other like that, but people just call it the tree philodendron, so it really is like a tr fucking tree. Look at it. Ah, so I'm just going to cut these yellow bits off. I know, Stormy. Are you excited? Where did I put that other leaf? I don't know. You want to look at the roots for me? So I'm going to grab it somehow. Oh, God, I don't want to snap any off. How do you grab something like this? I'm going to grab the whole thing and give it a smack and hope. Watching Stormy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. Nothing scary in there. I've been having nightmares about fungus snack larvae for days. Actually, couldn't sleep. I was, I've been so tired. 
I'm sick of them. Absolutely horrific. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of the mock off it again. I'm not going to mess with it too much because these things are a beast anyway. And then it will just have some nice new mock to grow on into. It was just starting to spin around in the bottom. So I've caught him just in time. Put him another one of these. Stick a bit of soil in. Well, not just soil, you know. Maybe that. Yep. Need to fluff this around. It's got a bit stuck in the bottom. Oh, sorry, here I got this though. I regretted not buying this for about three years. But here he is. Waiting for me. In BM. Next to a half dead alocasia for a pound. What a day! I was literally about to buy seeds for this so I could grow my own one because I couldn't see them for sale anywhere. And there you go, here he was. I wanted to get a couple but I got room. Oh my god, it's amazing. There he is. I think that's it for my plants today. I'm just going to go around and spray all the pots with some Provanto now and then sprinkle. Oh god, look at it! It's huge! Anywho, later. He gets to live on Big Boy Shelf. And I've just noticed, I'm pretty sure my bird of paradise is going to make a flower. That looks like it might be a flower, not a leaf. Keep posted on that one. I'm so excited. So let's see what it's gonna look like when his new leaf opens and it's not one of these freaky rotten ones. Yeah. And I've put the tree philodendron prior to place on the table. God, he's nice. Spend the rest of the afternoon blasting the top of the soil of all the plants because I am sick of fungus gnats. I did it in the other room and it worked. <laughs>